Welcome! In front of me is Xiaomi Redmi Book 14 and in this video I will show you how to install Windows from USB on this PC. So there might be several reasons why you want to do this. Maybe your files are corrupted or maybe you just want to recover the access to your account if you forgot the uh, account password. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I will guide you throughout this process uh, and help you solve your issue. So what you have to prepare is the charging cable inserted in, into your PC and you have to keep it inserted throughout all the application, uh, the, all the procedure. Let me <laughs> quickly show you mine. So yeah, uh, this kind of uh, charging cable, plug it into your PC so it so it's going to be charging all the time. Okay, and the uh, next thing uh, you have to prepare is an another PC onto which you'll be installing the disk image of for Windows 10 and also the Wi-Fi drivers which we are going to need later. And uh, actually, let's let's actually begin with the drivers. Uh, so because it's very important part we can't continue without it so the first thing i want you to take a look at is your serial number which is located on the back side of your pc and what we have to notice is the first five digits of the serial number we're gonna need them later so write them down take a picture of them uh, save them in whichever way you like the most and then Let's immediately switch to another device, another PC. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, right now we are on a on this PC, and and uh, here you'll have to open this web page, which is me.com uh, service notebook drivers. So, just uh, copy it from here and uh, paste it, uh, paste it uh, in, in your browser. And once you are here, you'll have to. Oh, let me translate this page for you. Actually, uh, yes, uh, that, that will be more convenient. So you'll have to input the first five digits of your serial number here. So let me. Let me input mine. Okay. Uh, once you're ready, uh, click search, and then uh, it should detect your PC. Now click right here. Then, let me again translate it for you. We're gonna need this this one. Click right here. And as you can see, the driver is installed. So right now we can uh, proceed by installing the uh, Windows 11 ISO. Let's uh, download it from the official page. It's gonna be original, so I'm gonna have to translate it again. Okay. So now that the page is translated, Let's select the download right here in the download Windows 11 disk image for x64 devices. Then click confirm. Let, let Microsoft validate our request. Uh, usually it takes several seconds actually. Okay. Let's choose the product language. United States, okay, confirm. Okay, and let's download the ISO. And in the process of downloading, as you can see, it's 5.4 gigabytes. Let's also download the, uh, the, uh, the program for creating uh, an image, which, uh, which is uh, Rufus. And you have to go to the rufus.ie page. Let me again uh, translate it for you. Uh, okay. So rufus.ie. Uh, 
IAE and then uh, download this uh, down download download uh, the application by clicking into this link I have this application already downloaded on my PC but uh, generally select the first one option if and if it doesn't run on your device then uh, you'll simply have to uh, click on the third option right here and right now we'll simply have to wait until the the ISO is downloaded and right now it, it is okay so once you download it for first you have to open it now select the device that you want to uh, install uh, install your uh, the ISO image to so it should be uh, it should be a pen drive so if you haven't prepared a pen drive which I am sorry I forgot to mention before but yeah uh, generally it's the main theme of the video so ins uh, insert the pen drive into your PC it should detect it automatically make sure that it's uh, also uh, f formatted there, so there's nothing on this disk to do this simply right click on it in your file explorer and, and click format and then just uh, use these settings click start and the disk will be formatted and, and uh, generally the the drive should be at least 8 gigabytes of memory uh, most uh, most of the modern uh, USB pen drives are pretty pretty much m pretty likely gonna be more than that okay but, but still I gotta mention it Okay, so right now we have to click select right here and select the disk, the, the image that we want to install, Windows 11 is the one that we ju just installed and generally you don't have to change anything in here, just click start and then uh, there are two check boxes that I'm gonna uncheck because I don't really need them, the one is for removing requirements for 4 gigabyte plus frame but generally this laptop already has it so we don't need it and remove a requirement for a Microsoft account well we we'll still will need to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi engine so, and generally uh, we're not gonna need that too so uncheck these two checkboxes unless uh, you wish to do otherwise okay and uh, afterwards click OK and wait until the cre uh, the creating is complete. Okay, so when the status is green, let's click start. Oh, oh excuse me. When the status is green, let's go back to the file explorer and uh, check if the image is installed properly so open your um, open your pen drive folder and right now what you have to do when everything is in, uh, installed properly uh, is go into downloads folder and check the uh, wireless LAN driver that we installed previously and let's open it and let's unpack it let's unpack the entire driver to to the directory of the uh, of the pen drive click OK ok let me go back Okay, now the, all the drivers are here and what we have to do is close it and right now we can eject the pen drive safely, right click on it, click eject. Okay, and right now we're gonna return to our PC, so let me switch the camera. So now Again, make sure that your device is turned off and also that it's plugged in uh, to the charging cable um, because we're gonna 
need it to charge all the time and to plug in the USB into one of the USB ports. Once your pen drive is plugged in, let's start up our PC. And once you start it up, by clicking the power button once, immediately start pressing uh, F12 button in order to open up the boot menu. So, click power button and uh, then press F12 consistently, okay? And right now, in this menu, we'll have to select uh, using maybe your keyboard because your uh, touchpad might not be working right now. Uh, using uh, so select a, your USB device that is connected. I hope it, if it's the only USB device, you should. Uh, if it's not, then you should ch uh, check uh, for the correct one. Okay, so select it, press enter, and let our device boot from USB. Now wait for a while. Okay, it's loading. Okay, and the setup process is started. So let's select the language that you want to install. You can use tab to navigate and arrow buttons. So select the language that you want. You can expand the no, I don't want to quit. I want to go back. Uh, you can expand the list by clicking the. I was hoping it would be the, the right arrow, but something is different here. Okay, excuse me. It took me a while to to figure out. We can switch the language. So okay, just press enter on this page to continue. Uh, no, <laughs> Just, uh, okay, select next uh, using tab button and then press enter to continue. Now select the keyboard uh, inputs uh, method that you like the most and then using tab go navigate to next once again and then uh, and then select install Windows 11. Uh, check this checkbox, I agree, using spacebar. So navigate to it using tab and then select uh, it using the spacebar. And then when you're ready, click next and wait until it's Windows Microsoft gets things ready. Now for this, uh, now you can either input the product key in here or uh, just select I don't have a product key and press enter. Okay, now search for the version that you want to install. For example, use, using your arrow keys, you can navigate through, through this menu. Select Windows 11, uh, I will select Windows 11 Pro. Click Next. Okay, now let's uh, read and accept user agreement. Now wait for a while. We're gonna be transferred to the disks window. Okay, and right now we'll have to uh, delete partition, uh, each partition uh, on this uh, list to free the disk space for your uh, for, for, for your windows. We're gonna have to uh, to erase each disk, each uh, space uh, until the unallocated space uh, right here. So basically, okay, what you have to do is uh, select the disk. Press Alt D. And this way you remove the one partition. So uh, select each partition uh, once one at a time and uh, press Alt D once you have it selected. And this way you delete each partition. Okay.
make sure that you don't erase uh, the the USB files, which which is uh, this one. Okay, and the last one. Okay, and now once we have this unallocated space, you, we can choose one of the two disks. Uh, for example, let me choose this one. It's uh, less. It has less. Uh, it's the uh, it's smaller in size, and then just using tab. Oh. Right, let's navigate to next. Press press enter. Okay, select this one. Ready to install, and now click install. And then wait until the Windows is installed on our PC. And later we're gonna have to install the Wi-Fi drivers. So for now, let's wait. Okay, so right now the Windows is installed and we simply have to go through the installation process. So using our arrow keys, to select the right country, uh, region for or region for you. you press enter confirm select the right keyboard layout and press enter again if you want you can add uh, an another layout but uh, I'm gonna skip it for now uh, so to, to add another layout you have to use the tab uh, tab button and uh, switch to, to add a layout uh, option okay and right now we have to connect to the network but we don't have the driver, so what we have to do is just is use the tab key to select install driver option. All right now, let's select, let's use the tab key to navigate to the space in the middle. Select your device. Select WLAN, select drivers. Okay, let's, right now let's uh, use tab to navigate, select folder. Okay, once you, once you have select folder uh, selected, press enter. Now let's wait until the drivers is found. And basically that's it. Once, once the driver is installed, you can proceed with the setup process. And at this point, I'm gonna leave you. If you need some help on your uh, with your installing, you can check the entire video on our channel, where, where I will explain everything step by step, uh, what you have to do next in order to install the Windows, uh, in order to set up your Windows properly. So, I hope this video helped you, and if it did, consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like and a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.